Eric Sawyer had this vision 15 years ago that indoor track and field was an, was an untapped market in the West. The independent group came in, did, uh, took almost a year to study uh, the concept of what we had uh, and came back and gave it a really a glowing green light said you guys you're crazy not to build this podium is a multi-sport world-class facility that uh, hosts primarily track and field events uh, volleyball basketball and mass sports the whole package of what we have here is the location and how you can check into a hotel, you don't need to rent a car, you can walk here. That just isn't typical. Most of these kinds of facilities are usually built outside of town where the property is cheapest. Um, so it, it was a package that just made a whole lot of sense. And uh, then it was, we had the money, we had the, the tools, now let's build it. There's a lot of thought put into this building, making sure that it is an elite venue. Uh, as we went through this progressive design, we always had that, we want to make a world-class venue. Let's make sure we consider that. As a designer, if you have to be able to design to a budget. You have to be able to design to a program. And you, you, you need to be able to take influence from your site but being able to think about what an athlete wants to experience. I say this with all of our architecture, you know, people aren't coming to our architecture to see the building. They're, they're coming there to experience, especially a sporting facility like this, to experience what's going on in the building. Uh, so your architecture really needs to complement that. It needs to flow people through the right way. It needs to get them excited as they're approaching it, right? You want to build that excitement in what they're coming to see. So we decided, you know what, we have a box. <laughs> we have an 80,000 square foot box that we have to deal with. So let's spend our money on this piece that's inserted into the box, which is the speed. You know, this is the, the fast, uh, strong portion of this building. And as athletes come into the building, that's what we want them to feel. We want them to feel like they're coming into a facility where they can set records, you know, where they can do amazing things. The building has beautiful architecture. It's spacious, it's got beautiful glass, beautiful views. So how do we enhance that? And that's the role of experiential design, is to create some emotion and add color and life and personality to that. And uh, I think that's why we were brought in on the project, was to help the project achieve a certain effect. So when people come here, they remember it, and it's really, really positive. It's definitely special because it will become an icon you know, for Spokane. Like, you see the Spokane skyline, you see the clock tower, the arena. We'll see, you know, the podium on there too. Doing a building like this for $53 million on time and project cost with a $5 million track and all the FF&E that you see out here under $400 a square foot. I think that, that only happens with a progressive design build. It only happens with a great owner that gives you clear direction. And I think that's the story that, that needs to be told when we talk about this building. In this process, you just feel so much more like you're working as a team. It's not just you're working with the contractor who's then, you know, hiring the architect from the very day one. It's just much more collaborative, I think. With a design build, you've got a different mentality with a whole team. If you can get everybody thinking of project first versus themselves or their company first, you can address all of those problems as a team. Whether it's a geotechnical issue or it's a civil grading issue, because you've, you've got everybody on the same page. They want to do what's best for the project. Well, the, uh, all phases of the project had their complexities. Um, the, the teamwork that, that we enjoyed throughout the course of the project really helped, it, really helped it feel simple at the end of the day. No project is, is easy. They're all a challenge. Uh, this one, I mean, starting with the site, the site was a huge challenge, you know, with a lot of rock to keep costs 
under control. They couldn't just, you know, wholesale remove rock throughout the whole site. So early on, we had to work with our design build partners to identify zones uh, for where rock removal was required. When we were looking at blasting the finished floor elevation, you know, if we wanted to lift the building up more to stay out of that or, or lower it. And so it, it was really looking at it from a lot of different ways to see what's the most cost effective way. It always felt like everyone was pulling in the same direction, which was really key. You know, this is a big building. Um, they have a tight budget, so we had to find a structural system that was going to be economical for them. You might have uh, seen trusses in like gymnasiums and high schools, that kind of thing. Those trusses might be on the order of 60 feet to 100 feet, and these guys here are 250 feet, so they're, they're a big truss. It takes uh, special consideration in the design, and the fabrication, the shipping, and the erection. So a lot of thought went into it beforehand. A track in a facility such as the podium is a very specialized surface. It needs to be to offer resilience so that athletes are not hurt or damaged in performing on it. It also needs to have some spring and uh, grip at the same time so that athletes can have fast times on it. The other part of it is that it needs um, to be a support for all the other sports that are going to be here. So the proportions here were set up to handle volleyball, basketball, multiple court arrangements, as well as the track and the room for the athletes on the track surface. The design build delivery method on this project uh, allowed us the freedom to work closely with the owner and incorporate savings back into the project in the form of enhancements uh, that you're seeing all over, that you're seeing in the form of the, th the retractable throw nets above our heads to some of the upgraded bleacher features that you're seeing behind us. A lot of elements in, the, in this building was just sort of midstream. Maybe we should do this instead, add this, take this away. That, that really, helped us because there aren't very many of these around the country really and so for us to be able to keep continue to kind of study study it and say wait a minute before we do that let's put this in there you know that that kind of approach really has made this a very functional building for a lot of different uses so I think you'll hear from all the team members that this is one project that we're all incredibly proud of um, not just because of the accomplishment um, of completing a project like this ahead of schedule and under budget, but because of what this is gonna be doing for our community. The, just to see the collaboration between Integris and Leidig and all the other vendors and, and us, and kind of going on this journey of design and build was fascinating. It's a once in a career project. You know, to build something, not only this magnitude, what it means for the community, all of that, but just a cool building.